Hey, good morning all. Hopefully this video finds everybody doing well. Uh, today is uh, update number three for daily updates on the Ecto-1 project. Uh, we had the uh, first uh, part of the uh, roof line, top of the windshield, uh, and uh, the, the, uh, the front cabin come off the printers this morning. Um, the prints came out really nice and clean. I did end up with uh, a a little bit of warping and a little bit of seam gap uh, between the two. Um, so it was time to pull out standard fare. I use uh, uh, Bondo Stage 2 Glazing and Spot Putty. You can typically buy this in on Amazon. I buy it in like six packs, but uh, this is pretty standard fare um, for here in the shop. And uh, the question may be, okay, well then why did you... Uh, Move on to the uh, the roof, uh, the front fenders, the grill, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, you know, even with the quality of the prints, uh, the reality of it is, is that like the majority of this grill is uh, chrome. The trim around the wheel wells is chrome. The trim along the baseboards is chrome. Um, around the windshield is chrome. There's all sorts of chrome on here, and quite frankly, it doesn't make much of a difference what your paint job is. Your paint job at the end of the day, is only really going to be as good as the uh, base you're building it off of is. And even with the quality of the prints, you know, you still do have ribbing, etc. And on something like this, especially when you're dealing with uh, chromes, you really do need as much of your surfaces to be as clean as possible. Now, you know, at the end of the day, realistically, you know, getting up in all of the nooks and crannies on this grill, mm -mm, nope, not going to happen. The nice part is because it is a vehicle, I'm going to be able to hide my crimes with uh, weathering at the at the tail end. So you know, bear bear in mind. You know, think about your project. You know, very rarely are you ever going to see me do shiny new things. A, I don't like them. Um, I like things to be weathered and have a story behind them. Um, kind of give you a little bit of fuel for your imagination when you look at something. Um, but B, weathering is useful. It hides those crimes at the end of the day. You know, you can get. Uh, a, a little bit of mud, a little bit of grease down in the nooks and crannies, and it hides areas where you may not necessarily have uh, sanded as much. Um, but realistically, you know, we'll go through, we'll be sanding these pieces as we assemble, um, getting everything as, as at least the main panels, the really high spots, we'll get everything as smooth as we possibly can. Um, and this thing's going to end up getting a layer. Typically for everything that I do, I use uh, Rust-Oleum, a uh, high build sandable primer comes in an aerosol can. Um, pretty much uh, all of my base coating on just about everything in the shop uh, gets done in uh, Rust Oleum spray paint. Uh, it's cheap uh, and it works well. Uh, it's much cheaper than you know priming with uh, with high end paints. Um, you don't see me use Krylon in the shop. You don't see me use Duplicolor, or at least I really try not to. 98% of the time I'm just in Rust-Oleum, and that way the products work really well together. But this will get a coat of that uh, high build primer. Everything will get sanded one more time. We'll take a look, look at it from there. Uh, if and when you know, it still has imperfection, it may get another coat, maybe two more coats of that sandable high build primer with sanding in between. Um, and then it's going to end up getting a coat of gloss black. Now, when you say, why gloss black? Well, there again, because I'm doing chrome. Anytime that you're doing metallic finishes, whether it be, you know, a shiny gold, whether it be shiny silver, whatever it may be, a, clo a coat of gloss black underneath it will always enhance that top coat. So, uh, We'll end up going through, we'll do everything in gloss black, we'll mask off the areas that we are going to be doing in chrome, and then we'll move on with the uh, with the gloss white and the gloss red for the main uh, portion of this paint job. As far as chrome on this project goes, uh, we're going to be using Maltau liquid chrome. Uh, go down to your local... Uh, hobby store, um, typically not like RC hobbies, typically more like 
Hobby Lobby, but uh, you can find it online as well. Um, I really like Maltau. I think it's just about the best chrome you can get. Now, you can open these pens up. You can drop it in your airbrush. You can airbrush with it. I find that the finish... It comes in uh, different sizes, different size tips. Uh, really, for my needs on this, a two millimeter tip is just right. Um, and typically, you know, you'll go through. And it's a standard, like, spring-loaded style tip. Um, so it's like a paint pen. Um, but you just want to apply it in really smooth layers. It self-levels itself. Uh, the trick is just not to go back and forth, but we'll cover that in the future when the time comes. But in the meantime, I've got some sanding ahead of me. Uh, in the meantime, and also, I guess in the meantime, double, um, we're moving on to uh, the center portion of the cab and the rear. Center portion of the cab, if I'm lucky, may come off of the printer maybe sometime late tomorrow. Um, and the rear, the rear initially was looking like it was going to be like a 56 hour print. Um, so we'll see, but regardless, I think, uh, you know, with Verf coming up this weekend, if you don't know about Verf, poke your nose around online, look for me on my Twitter. Um, I, they, they very kindly asked me to, uh, to be an exhibitor for Verf. Um, and that is the East Coast Rep Rep Festival, which because of COVID, we're doing it virtually this year. Um, and there is a uh, Discord chat where if you've got questions or yada yada, I'll be on the Discord all weekend long, and then I'll be presenting uh, on Sunday. Uh, if you poke your nose around for Verf, you can find the online schedule for who's, uh, what companies are going to be there and what exhibitors are going to be there. So come check out our cool work. Um, otherwise, I think, uh, you know, the next video on this will uh, be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, it just kind of depends on how far along we are and what I've got time-wise. I'm going to do my best to try and get one out on Monday, if nothing else, just to kind of show progress on it. Um, so uh, if I don't uh, see folks online at Verf, I hope you have a good weekend. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, ring the bell for notifications. You know the drill. This is the same stuff for every YouTube video. And for my little channel, uh, you know, it takes two seconds. It's minimal effort, and uh, it, it does wonders for helping to promote uh, promote my little channel. And if you like what you see, that's how you're going to get to see more of it. So uh, cheers, guys. Have a good weekend. Bye.